Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Iron Hot Vlog. All right? <laughs> yeah. So today we're going to be making some good pancakes. Uh, going to show you how I make my pancakes. Really simple, yet effective. Share this information with you lovely ladies and gentlemen. So we have banana, some blueberries, got log cabin, natural pancake mix. You can use whatever pancake mix you like. I got one cup of uh, pancake mix in there. Uh, some olive oil cooking spray. Yeah. All right, so bowl, mixing bowl, fork, flip it up, spatula, flip it up. Get it? Let's get to it. Cutting board. You got one, get one. If you don't, use a plate. So, I'm gonna slice up our bananas. So, you can mix bananas inside the batter. Today, we're gonna mix bananas inside the batter. Make you uh, guys feel special. Alright. Cut up as many as you like. The size of your choice is up to you. Um, just remember the bigger you cut the bananas, the harder it is for the plank, the pancake to actually flatten out when you're cooking it. So you want to try to cut your bananas as thin as possible. Alright, that way your pancake can stay nice and flat. Let's take our mix, pour right on in here. Boom, just like that. One cup pancake mix for right now. That's what I'm using this morning. You can use more if you have a bigger family, smaller family, if you're making it for yourself, depends. But right now I'm just making this for me. So one cup. All right, let's put some water in this bad boy. Or milk if you choose, but I'm gonna use water. So simple, we spark up our pan. Get us a nice good flame going on there. You know what I mean? Now you wanna keep it not too high and not too low. The reason why I say that is because it's easy to burn pancakes. You spray this in here now. Get a little coat around the pan like that. Got our spatula on deck, right? The next thing we're gonna do, while this is heating up, we're gonna start to add in our fruits. Whatever fruit you like. Right now I'm using blueberries and bananas. You can use strawberries, you can use raspberries. You know, any kind of fruit you like. So we're gonna pour these in here like this. And we're gonna whip them around. Just like that. Whip it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta whip it when you're in that kitchen. You gotta whip, you gotta have that wrist game. You know what I'm talking about? That wrist game, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, and then what we do. Take our bananas, get as many as you choose. I like to leave the choices up to you guys. I'm gonna tell you how many bananas to put in here. Okay. Well, you ladies and gentlemen, leave it up to you. And we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna whip it. like that all right so here's the magic trick when you start to see those little bubbles you flip not a minute before not a minute after you flip too soon pancake goes in while it's doing that we'll keep our mix fresh keep it fresh because your fruit will tend to sink while you're in this mode. It sinks. So when it sinks down, it's harder to actually have a pancake uh, more fulfilled with the fruit that you have. So we got that working. We got this working. We need a plate. Uh, Find us a spot. There we go. Alright, so it's 
time to flip. Let's see what we got. Boom. Woo! That's iron hot right there. You know what I'm saying? That is iron hot for real. So you can see you have like the little fresh blueberries in there and everything like that. So when you flip, you don't have to let it cook long on the other side. It does not take long for the other side to brown at all. It's all about timing. I'm gonna bring it out. Scooping. Bang. That's our first one. Second pancake. We're gonna do it again. Nice little spray. Right in the center. I think we give out three pancakes out of one cup. I'll just take a few bananas and throw them right on top like that. You know, throw them on the side like that in the back room. Make them look a little pretty, you know what I'm saying? It looks good, you don't want to eat it. Flip. Okay, doesn't take long. You can count it if you want. Like 15 seconds. Scoop him up. That's the other side. So you can see it's done. Lay him down. A little bit of more spray. And each time I spray it a little bit, keeps your pancake from sticking, keeps it from burning. Last pancake. It's already leveled out. This one might be a little bit bigger. Here we get us a little bit more of our fruit. Lay it right on our plate, right on top of our pancakes, like that. Okay. While that one's cooking, what I usually do is clean up my mess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I clean up my myself, man. Put everything away. Alright, so this one looks like I'm gonna have to turn the pan a little bit to flip it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take the pan and turn it like that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go to where it looks like it's done the most, which is this side. Flip. I'm gonna turn my pan right back. Simple. All right. This is pancake number three. So one cup gave me about three pancakes. Keep an eye on it. About 10 to 15 seconds. Sometimes you hear a little more sizzle. That sizzle you'll hear sometimes is whatever fruit is sitting at the bottom of the pancake. In your mouth. All right. So that's what we got, some healthy pancakes. Live right. If you like pancakes, make some. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you. Have a great day. Stay blessed. Peace.